Hi, this is Brett from Custom FX. This is going to be a new video about the importance of using relays and how to correctly connect them to your Custom FX switch panel. Regardless if you use the Carling Technologies OTRATTW style switches or the plasma switches, you will get a power cable that will be completely wired up already to your switch panel. We have a set of flying leads, which will all be completely labeled, matching a set of schematics, all color coded correctly to which switch does what, and also a single switch schematic, which will apply to all your switches and how to use your relay and how to wire it up correctly. Now there's a few different type of relays that are used in the automotive industry. Uh, this is your typical, what they call a type B relay. These are numbered very consistently in the industry. A type A actually has numbers reversed. So a type B is the most common and this is the numbering on that. When you do get a relay, you can see 87's at the top. 86 is on your left, 85 is on your right, and number 30, which is down at the bottom, again, 87A was not even molded on this particular type of relay. So, very consistent. There are also relays out there, here's a waterproof one, that actually has five pins that middle pin is at 87A, which is a normally open uh, pin, which gets constant power um, versus your four pin, same one I just cut off and don't even use that 87A. There's your five pins, that 87A just won't be used. You just be using the same four pins as this relay and this relay in the schematic. One thing I recommend that's very inexpensive if you don't want to do all your wiring yourself, if you do, that's not a problem. But you can buy an inexpensive relay harness that comes with your relay, your inline fuse, all your wiring. It comes with everything, including a generic switch that you won't be using. But when you undo it, it does look a lot of wiring in that, but don't feel intimidated. It's very, very easy. Again, there's only four connections to this and they make it easy for you. And let me go over that here next. I forgot to mention that this video it actually is applying to purchasing your LED light bar or a pair of LED lights that does not come with any type of other wiring whatsoever. If you purchase a big manufactured kit from Rigid, Pia, Hella, Warren, they will most likely even come with their own relay harness. And the last part of this video is still connecting your wiring to uh, the wiring and simply not using the switch that came in with that kit and you're just tapping into uh, the power in and power out of that wiring. So this really applies to um, when you need to purchase a relay harness because you must use relays with these switch panels. So regardless if you buy a completely purchased one here or if you buy a single relay and you wanna do your own wiring, these are very, very nice because they're only eight to $12. It includes your relay, includes an inline fuse, includes your wiring. Uh, they also make these with a, uh, for a pair of lights versus a single light bar. Make sure you purchase the right one. Um, and includes the generic switch, which you won't be using, but you're just simply going to tap into that wiring, which I'll go over that here next. But these are really, really nice and expensive and they work well. So let's go over uh, the wiring that actually comes in with that whole thing all unraveled. Okay, so about the relay again. The relay actually has an internal coil a set of contacts that is also a switch to turn on and off that takes the main amp load not your switches not your power cable switch wiring 
It's just milliamps that's running through that wiring because this relay now takes the load. That's the main purpose of the relay. Now, even though you see multiple wires here, I'm gonna go over them in this example, but there's only four pins in this relay, which you guessed it, is the same exact four pins that you see in this schematic that's included with your switch panel. The bottom right, black wires, there's three black wires all into one connection. In this example, it's gonna be your ground wire, which you can connect to any good ground. It does not necessarily have to be your negative battery terminal, any good ground. The wiring that goes to your LED light bar also is grounded right in the same one. And this little black wire is part of the switch. And I'll go over that here with you in a second. And again, you're not using this switch. You're just going to cut off that wiring and tap right into it and throw this thing away. Now, number 30 is the bottom left, which you can see a yellow wire also connected to that red wire. This is actually your main power wire. It comes with an inline fuse to protect the circuit, which you will be connecting this right to your 12 volt battery. That yellow wire is actually the 12 volt power feed in power in that goes to that switch there's that little yellow wire uh, pin number 87 is this larger red wire that's at the top left that again is the same red wire that's in the harness that will be going to your light bar or if you have a pair of lights rear lights uh, off-road lights fog lamps you're gonna have a different type of harness that is going to have a splitter that they're gonna have another red and black wire split off of this to do both the left side and the right side. But this is still all the same. It's no different. And uh, the last pin, which is gonna be pin number 86, is this red wire. And that is also connected to the switch. That's the red wire and that. But that basically concludes your four pin connections. That's the same as any other relay, regardless if you buy one of these, wired it yourself. The concept and how to wire up a relay is still exactly the same. I'm going to go over one last little trick of uh, connecting up this, cutting the wires and tapping in from your custom FX power cable into this very easily. Lastly, this will show you how to properly connect your custom FX power cable and wiring from your switch panels to your relay wiring harness and switch wiring. Please keep in mind for each working switch that you have on your switch panel, if you have four switches that are going to be wired up to lighting, you indeed need four relay harnesses. Each switch requires their own separate relay and wiring. This is the correct and safe way to wire up your auxiliary lighting. Your switch panel will already be connected whenever you get your panel. You do not need to do any wiring to the back of your switch panel. It will already be done for you. What you will have left are the flying leads, which are all labeled for easy identification. The ground wire. All grounds will be combined into this one ground wire. Simply connect this to a good ground. On your relay wiring harness and the wires running to the switch, again, you will not use the switch. Simply discard it. Cut the wires, expose your three wires, ground, power in and power out. The ground wire will not be used. You have a new ground wire with your new power cable and your switch and your wiring. You will not use that ground wire. 
that leaves you with the two switch wires that is power in and power out. Again, the wiring is labeled switch one through four. In this example, switch number one is far left. Switch number four is far right, closest to the passenger side. Each group of wiring is also labeled for power in and power out. You will simply connect them to those wires. You can use solder, heat shrink, you can even use butt connectors as long as you firmly and securely connect them. Nothing wrong with using those as long as you do it correctly. And this concludes how to wire up your power cable and your wiring from your switch panel to a relay wiring harness. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me directly at lethalweapon09 at yahoo.com. Thanks.